I can create that's never been seen before, that's never been done. our little village where we come to shop and do all sort of stuff. So here we are. You've been exhibiting here long? Yes. I'm working at the moment with a body of work to exhibit here. And you're saying your pieces are going all over the world? Some people buy it and take it where they are in Asia or Europe. I would say the most famous would be Taylor Swift. Yeah. She wow. bought, but it was only a small one. Maybe she has taste. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I've been painting all my life, even from a little girl. After school, I did a study of Bachelors of Art. I studied three years, and after that I thought, no, I just want to continue doing my own thing. I paint figurative works, abstracts, landscapes. For me, it's a way of expression, a, a, a way of life. It is a fabulous way to get the viewer inside of your world so the viewer can see how you perceive things. You know instantly if you don't give everything for a painting, you don't feel good about it, you can't look at it. You will start off initially with this fabulous picture in your head, sometimes you'll do the outlines, you think yes that's going to work and after a while it just doesn't work. It's it's not a part of you and then you know you need to change it and then you go through the whole process, you change the colours, sometimes the composition or the subject matter and then it falls into place. So how do you know it? It's a gut feeling. Um, you start off with a blank canvas and then the end product is something that really catches your heart. How long do you usually work on a painting? So I build up the layers. The first day I'll do one layer, it dries and then the next day. So around about four to five days it will be done, but I mean it's not a whole day that I work on a painting. It's only a few hours each day. I'm having a look at your workspace here. What's your favourite tool? It would definitely be the spec palette. It's very easy, it's very pliable. You can try it. <laughs> it's very nice working. I don't want to screw this one up. <laughs> I, I might just finish it for you. <laughs> Any palette knife is my favourite thing to work with. I don't work a lot with brushes. And I feel sometimes it holds a lot of paint. Palette knives are the best. When did jewellery start for you? Uh, it started about eight years ago. I was actually looking for jewellery for myself and I couldn't find something that I like so I started making my own pieces and then everybody wanted to buy. Let me introduce you to my husband, this is Peter. How are you doing Peter? Hi there. Nice meeting you. And he helps me a lot. Actually, I would think he's actually doing the jewellery now. I just do the nice bits of designing new things. Deline do the creative side and then I do the work. We make individual pieces that vary anything from either pewter or resin. We develop the first one, then we do a, um, a sample casting, make some changes if you need to, and we plate them in silver and give them a bit of an antique finish. And then we put together the pieces that we've designed initially. I worked for a company for 16 years and I loved every minute of it. Left at 7.30 in the morning and I got back 5.30 or whatever the time was in the evening and that was the only time we got to spend together. Well we've always been making stuff since I've resigned we've been able to do it together. First went to church events and we thought well okay how do we get this out into the market. But created a website, uh, went online and then we went to the um, Auckland gift fair. The people come into the shops wearing our jewellery and then the store owners say oh wow that's great where do you get that? Haven't got any reps, all the stores if they want anything they go online. So you don't have to spend a lot of money to achieve something at all, it's not necessary. You're good with your hands, you can create, you sort it. The value is I can do what I want to do in my own time and I think the word of value is because I feel valued because I am able to work with my hands to do something for other people to enjoy. If you look at something and you think, wow, I would love to do it, I think I can do it. For me, it's already, yes, you can do it. Art is 86% technique. 
that I can create something and that's never been seen before, that's never been done. I love doing that and when people say they've got a painting for how many years and every day they look at it and they feel peaceful and they look at the landscape. That is a highlight. I hope I would be able to do this forever. You too can become part of this journey. Come help us. Let's celebrate these businesses together. Donate to our site www.forwardthefavor.com and we will bring you more of these exciting programs.